Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today's gonna be an awesome day because it's our very first Friendsgiving at our new house. But before I get to how awesome the day is gonna be, I wanted to let everyone know that Barbell Brigade is gonna be having a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. So it's our biggest event of the whole year. There's all kinds of crazy discounts. We're dropping all new items like wrist wraps, straps, knee sleeves, all the lifting equipment that you need to keep you safe, as well as our new Dominate holiday sweater that you guys have been seeing on our Instagram. And uh, if you guys already signed up for the newsletter, you get additional 5% off all sales and all new launches. So stay tuned, barbellbrigade.com is when Black Friday is gonna happen. And right now I'm making oatmeal, my world famous oatmeal, might I add. And uh, it, I already love this day today because today I get to play house daddy, almost like a soccer daddy actually, because after I make this oatmeal, Taika eats it. I still have a bunch of errands that I have to do. So one, I have to go pick up a big old suburban SUV because we're going on a little family trip to Big Bear um, tomorrow. And uh, then I have to go to Honey Baked Ham and pick up uh, the food for the Thanksgiving today. I was gonna smoke a turkey, but I just got so many things going on and then Ma Bear is gonna be filming a podcast that I was like, do I want to juggle so many things? I'm like, I'm just gonna think like an efficient soccer dad and I'm just gonna buy turkey, ham, and sides from Honey Baked Ham. I was already put in the order last week. And then I have to go pick up my guns from getting cleaned. Uh-oh, I feel like I'm missing one thing. No, I hate when that happens because it was so clear. Like last night I was like, okay, I know what I have to do tomorrow. It was so, oh, and I have to go to sip uh, because everyone's been telling me about the new um, pumpkin uh, matcha milk tea and how bomb it is. So I have to go try that and taste it. And uh, so I'll be driving around a lot today, handling a lot of things. And it makes me happy because I'm usually working so much that I don't get time to be house daddy with this little monkey dude that's already probably wreaking havoc on that. Oh, cool, you didn't spill it? Good job. This morning he told me he wanted water with ice. <laughs> so I gave it to him and I said, don't spill it. And he said he won't spill it and he has it. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you, Taika. <laughs> Bikini. Yeah, so I, I love these slow days. It's so, so cutie. This is what I like to see. Um, not him on the iPad, but him loving the oatmeal. Was the oatmeal yummy? Is it yummy, Taika? Yep. Once the kids have an iPad, they don't really give a shit about anything else. But right before I gave him the iPad, he was like, Yummy! And uh, now the iPad kind of took over. Is it yummy, Taika? Taika, is that oatmeal yummy? Father. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm your father. Oh, cool. Postmates is here. Hell yeah. Postmates is here. So I made him his breakfast. And then, uh, Fawn, shh. And I ordered my own. I didn't want to have to make a steak, but I got steak and eggs. Still trying to stay good. You feel me? Still trying to stay lean, stick to my goals. Hello. Thank you. Me too. And uh, since Mom Bear has to shoot her podcast today, she was like, can I have a muffin that I could take on the road? So I made my side dish the muffin, silver muffin in there. Alright, time to eat breakfast. That's so cutie. It's so well timed. Because originally I was like, you know what? What if I just feed him first so that he can get his little tummy full? And then uh then I'll eat my own later. But now we get to eat breakfast together. Hey Taika. Taika? Ah. Oh my gosh. That's a little bite, dude. What is that? Is it yummy? That guy is a yummy. Your kids will never give you the satisfaction you want. All right, so this kind of sucks right now. Mobber dropped me off almost an hour ago. And what I thought was gonna happen since I already made a two or three day ago reservation that I was just gonna come, pick up the car and bounce because that's usually how it works. You know, when you get a rent rental car, but uh, I'm here 
and they didn't even see me for like the first 30 to 45 minutes because that place was just jam-packed there's so many people in there so I don't know if everyone just got bum rushed or no one made an online reservation but I assume that if I make an online reservation that I would get first dips damn there's a bunch of nice cars here there's a Corvette what are those guys Alfa Romeos that's tight sorry my ADD got the best of me yeah and then I was like, they're like trying to convince me, hey, would you like a, a car that's not a Suburban, like Tahoe or Armada? And I'm like, no, I really need something that can seat seven to eight and have a lot of cargo room. They like, want to check it out. And by this time, it's been 45 minutes in. So I'm like, all right, I'll go and check it out. I go look at it. I'm like, no, I need the cargo space because not only are we bringing me, Ma Bear, Taika, Gio's family, but also the dogs and luggage. So we need all the space we can get. And then they checked and within 15 miles there wasn't another car rental place that had a suburban and i'm like what then what's the point of having this reservation like what's the point of locking in on the website where you have online inventory and all that if it's not even accurate so now what they're going to try to do is like well would you be down with a 15 person van you know those big ass freaking church vans i was like well, I guess if that's the best bet, then let's go with that. But I originally really wanted a Suburban. So they're going to see if that thing's available. But this kind of sucks. I woke up so happy with all these cool plans. I did not think I was going to be waiting here for an hour when I make a reservation for something, which means it should be fast. And if you make a reservation, it means that you usually secure it. You know, you don't make a reservation for... A restaurant and then you get there and they're like oh actually i know you have 10 people but how about a table for six <laughs> you're like no i said 10 there's a reason why i said 10. <sighs> finally got the car after an hour and a half but looking at this 15 passenger van i'm actually pretty happy with it because uh we can fit so many people the dogs luggage no one's gonna have to be cramped and we're gonna feel like we have a nice cool little trip Taika, don't you dare throw rocks. No, don't do that. Holy shit, that is not good. Oh, thank God he hit a plastic part. There's no dent. Because you have to pay for damages when you rent a car like this. You're crazy, stop it. But anyways, what I was going to say is my advice to anybody that's going to rent a car to go on a trip, I highly recommend on top of the reservation to call them and make sure that they have your car uh, an inventory and they hold on to the keys before you get there so you don't get your time wasted and maybe you can even tell them like hey I know it takes a process it could be busy but um, can you please have all the paperwork and my keys and the car ready before I get there because sometimes we're so swamped like one of the things that was kind of crazy to me was uh, I was just waiting around I'm like hey is it okay if I start filling out paperwork so when the car is done getting clean I can take off and they're like good idea and I'm like wait isn't that your system? How did I just make a system for your work? That makes no sense, you know? And I think they're just so overwhelmed that they probably forgot that system. Cause it makes sense to me to just get all the paperwork, everything that can be prepped, let's pre-prep that. So when the car is done, which is the last thing that anyone needs is I can just get the keys and take off. And it was crazy to me that I had to remind them to do that. So if you do that, I think it'll save way more time. And I gotta get after Tiger before he starts throwing rocks at all the cars around here. Okay, he's calming down. He's throwing the rocks on the wall. I came back home real quick to let the dogs out and to change Taika's diaper. And I don't remember being in this type of multitasking mode in a long time. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember Taika peed his bed this morning. So I washed it. So meanwhile, cause he has to use his bed tonight. While I'm home, might as well switch it into the dryer and uh, make sure it gets dry. And I'm like kind of patting myself on the back because I'm like, damn, I think I make a good house daddy. Because I think being whether being a house mommy or a house daddy, like the main thing is being able to multitask, right? Like, you know, growing up, you see your mom like throw a load in the laundry, then start the dinner and then go help the kids with homework. And then they go back and check up on the dinner and then move things in the laundry. And then it's constantly, it's like mom was this amazing person that can do four or five, six things at once. And you don't realize how crazy that is until like you first go to college and you're completely on your own. And then when you're completely on your own, you're like, ah, oh, shit, I left, I left my clothes in the washer for two days straight. You know how that mildewy smell? 
Or like, you're like, oh, I'm gonna try to multitask. I'm gonna try to study while cooking. And then you're studying, and you get in the zone, you're like, hell yeah, I'm gonna get a freaking 4.0. And then all of a sudden, you're like, what's that burning smell? And you're like, damn, I fucking suck at multitasking. It takes, it's a skill. I think it's a skill. A lot of people sleep on like soccer moms, soccer dads. But I think it's a big old skill. But hopefully, um, everything's good. Hopefully nothing burns. And I do everything cool today. I even remember to open our back gate to let the dogs pee real quick. I did have a hiccup with the car in the morning, but I think things are moving good, good again. I'm giving Taika his milk. So he had a big old breakfast. He's drinking his CUNY milk. Then we're gonna go to Honey Baked, pick up um, the food. And then I also have to... Oh yeah, your blanket, you peed on it. He's asking for his cobija. The blanket, you peed on it, Taika. Let me see if you can find another one. Meanwhile, multitasking, handling the problems that pop up spontaneously. Shout outs to all the house mamas and house daddas out there. Let me see if I can find one. Aha, here's another blanket. That should be good. Such a productive day so far. Just stopped by Sip to get the new um, pumpkin pie milk tea. It's freaking good. If you like any pumpkin spice anything, this is so bomb. And I think we're calling it a pumpkin pie because it tastes way more like pumpkin pie than it does like pumpkin spice. That's super good. Just picked up all the Friendsgiving dinner stuff, the turkey, the ham, the sides. I can't show you because it's behind me. And Taika was taking a good old nap, but as you can hear, this guy is freaking awake now and he's about to get restless. So can't wait to get home. And also, Marva just finished her podcast. So I can't wait to show her all the sides I got. But there's all this stupid traffic. Oh, damn it. I'm going like 20 miles an hour right now. But have you guys seen the new Tesla truck? Is that shit dope or what? I'm like this close to pre-ordering it too. Because I heard it's only 100 bucks to do so. And I already had my mind set on this truck or SUV I was going to get next year. And I'm like, oh. Do I want to put it off one more year to get something really sick? I don't know that much about it yet. What do you guys think I should do? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about the Tesla truck? Mommy home. That's cute. Are you doing a little photo shoot action? No. Yeah, you are. I like your furry hat. Thank you. Really? Oh, you're so cute. He took a little nap. He slept for like an nap? hour. Oh. Big cutie. Am I even in frame? Yes. Right in the center. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Mama set it up. No, no. Don't touch it. Mama set it up. Yeah, it's a phone. It's a camera too. Cool. Finally just got home. And I can show you guys what I got. I got, I believe these are cheesy potatoes. Probably heat these up. Um, this looks like either probably stuffing. And then gravy, and then cranberry and yams. And so I think the trick is to heat it up in the oven and then put it out in a bowl so no one knows. Or they're gonna know, but it looks like I made it. And then I got a big old thing of ham. I heat this bad boy up. And a big old thing of turkey. And then when we serve it, we serve it like on sheets. Like we made it, you know what I'm saying? And it'll... Look good. Look at this guy. He's always already up to some freaking experience. We gotta change your diaper, dude. We have to. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're gonna get a butt rash. You want butt rash? You want butt rash, dude? Butt rash, butt rash, butt rash, butt rash. Can you please get out of my way, please? Thank you. So I'm trying to change the filter for our AC because we just ordered a bunch of them. And the minute I set up this ladder, I knew this guy was going to try to get in the way. Ah! Uh, go away. Go away. Go away. You crazy guy. Damn, look how dusty. I think it's our first time changing it. Is yeah, it this, it's I our first know. time, huh? Yeah. You better not throw that ball at me. Don't throw it. I knew it, you freaking mischievous donkey. I freaking knew you were gonna do something like that. 
Damn, look how dirty that is. Oh. Damn, we didn't change this for, I think like six months. Thank God we're changing this. See, once you played everything properly, it looks like you made it yourself. <laughs> so at the bottom of the oven, I got all the sides. Got the gravy over there, the yams, stuffing, and the cheesy potatoes. Up here, got the turkey. Even the turkey looks like I made it myself, except if you have a trained eye, you'd be like, why is the turkey brown if it's not done cooking and still looks soggy? <laughs> but I got turkey in there, ham in there, two cups of water so it doesn't get dry. And uh, just a little bit more time before everything is ready. You got the top at one hour, bottom in 20 more minutes. Yeah. <gasps> you brought your cars with you? Can you change the diaper? Yeah, I'll change this diaper. Oh, Ooh, mom went to go get drinks with the young monkey. Yeah. Oh, I gotta change the diaper, okay? Damn, look, all, look at all this food, dude. Got turkey, got ham. Tim brought, what is this, dude? It's a barbecue chicken chopped salad from California Pizza Kitchen. There's avocado, barbecue chicken, uh, black beans, tortilla strips, tomatoes, ranch. It's a, a we make the ranch in house. Uh, and <laughs> You're also, talking like you worked there. I worked for California Pizza Kitchen for years. I know you did. <laughs> and then we got chips, some cheese and potatoes. Elote, oh garlic bread. We got ceviche. We got spring rolls. How come this look like plastic bag rolls? You trying to kill me? What? Who brought the Hawaiian food? <laughs> That's my hell yeah, hell yeah. And then we got katsu marapaker. Oh shit, this goes over there. The cranberry. Excuse me. Oh, finally our dining table is getting used. That's so fucking dope. Oh, this is so cutie. We got big old family here. This feels cutie, huh, mama? Hell yeah. We got a million people here. Yeah, all the people we love. You already packing the to-go thing? Yeah, for Anna. Oh, cool. You gotta serve him a plate. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to take a bath? Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, this is the cranberry for the turkey. Damn. So good. Hell yeah. All right, time for me to get a plate. Huh? Oh my dear lord, look at all that. Be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's Ryan? Ryan's inside the garage cleaning one of my guns for me. Why? I don't know, he wanted to go right now, yeah. And then Richard's in there hanging out with them. Yeah. Look at this little anti-social ass. His head is buried deep in his cubby hole. Everyone is over there hanging out, having a good time. This is the first time we actually ran out of chairs. Well, it's because we have so much food on the counter, so people can't really eat at the counter, but the dining table is full. For once, we might need to get an actual chair for a bat over there. Oh my, what the hell? What the fuck? You were just on the floor. You're freaking crazy, dude. You're crazy. We're gonna make you some food soon, okay? Okay. It's Christmas! It's Christmas. As I was <laughs> I thought it was a Christmas song. What song is this? It's All New Year's. Oh, uh, is it? Yes. It feels festive. Oh, yeah. This is the aftermath. Something's got completely destroyed. Got a couple spring rolls, fish. Tim brought the CPK salad. Ham. Oh, this is really good at the ham. Really good at the turkey, too. Yeah, actually. And the alcohol, too. It. Yeah, we did a good job. And it not... looked like it was a lot of food. No one really yeah. cared about the salad. Stupid Tim. Stupid Tim bringing stupid yeah. salad. <laughs> but yeah, we did pretty good. We got pupusas, Hawaiian food. It was really, really, we got a whole row of pies. This is really cool. Really great Friendsgiving. It was cool we were able to share that with you guys, too. Um, have a happy Thanksgiving, safe holidays, and Hug all of your family a little bit tighter because um, you just never know what you have until you lose it, you know? So always show some extra love when you can. See you guys next time. Bye.